Welcome back. It's about time I did some work on the Mini. So there's a number of jobs I've been putting off for ages and ages and I've decided it's Christmas, I've finished work, so I'm going to pull the Mini apart and I'm going to take you along with me. Just a few little odds and ends. First job I've got to look at is an oil leak. I'm going to try and avoid having to take the engine out if I can. So to start with, I'm going to get the front end removed and we can get stuck in. Okay, so the next job, I'm going to remove this fiberglass front end, um, but I need to get at the fixings on the other side, so I need to move the car across a bit. And I can't really be bothered to open the door and shunt it in and out and get the engine warm when I want to work on it. So I'm going to see if I can just jack up the front and just pull it across a little bit. accomplished. I've been asked quite a lot mostly on Instagram DMs how I've mounted the front end so I'll show you a little bit of that in this video. The front edge is bolted with these M8 cap head screws that go into a bracket I've made that mounts on the front of the subframe. So these are quite simple. They just unscrew. Just like that, a couple of washers to shim it on the other side. So I'll undo the other one at the front and I'll show you the side. Again on this side of the car, I've been asked quite a lot. Um, and I've basically got these three uh, Allen key flanged bolts that go through a plate that's welded to the inside of the inner wing. And on the other side of those is just a 13mm M8 nut that undo. And then uh, there's a screw in the arch to undo. So I'll just whip those out on the other side and we can lift the front end off the car. Now I've got the front end off the car. Uh, these are the brackets I made. They're a little bit rough. I did intend to make something a bit better, but I was getting a bit pressed for time coming up with the IMM. So I've made these brackets. They fix onto where these front brace bars mount. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then there's a hole drilled there, which has got a M8 nut welded to the back of it, which is what goes through the hole on the front of the fiberglass. A couple of washers pack it out there, and that bolts through there. Same on each side, does the job, holds the front end on. It's been on 18 months, probably five or 6,000 miles, and it's been fine, so that's how the front end's on. I'm holding the camera by hand for this bit, so you'll have to excuse the shakiness. Now, if you have a look down there on the garage floor, there's uh, that's where there's been a patch of oil under the car for a little while. I did clean it up the other day, and it's dripped and leaked out again. So. Where the car was sat, that's coming from this area around the around the timing case or crank pulley. Difficult to see at the moment where it's coming from, so I'm going to give that area a clean up and see what I can see.
So I've cleaned up the area underneath the crank pulley on the bottom of the timing case and um, it's hard to tell. It was quite wet there so there's a good chance the oil leak's coming from somewhere around there. It doesn't appear to be coming from further up. That all looks quite dry. Um, there's a bit of a leak on the back from the tapper chest covers. I've been battling with that quite a long time but that's not dripping on the floor. That's just made a bit of a mess at the back of the block. So I think now I've cleaned up underneath the gearbox as well. So it's either going to be, I think, the timing case cover or perhaps there's, I think there's an O-ring or a gasket where the speedo drive goes in. That could be a, a possible. So I think I've got to play the waiting game and like Keith did over on Classic Mini Workshop, clean it all up, clean the floor underneath, put something, something underneath it and wait and see what happens, see when a drip occurs. So I'll leave that as it is and wait patiently for it to leak. While I wait for that leak to show its face, I'm going to do a job that I've been putting off for quite a while. I bought this new bolt for under the alternator bracket um, quite some time ago when I was having problems shredding belts. So while the front end's off, I'll get that fitted. As you can see on the left there, the, uh, the proper fixing that goes in the slide is made up of uh, is made up of a specially made piece with a couple of nuts and washers. What my car's been held together with is that bolt and a load of dodgy bits and spaces, which meant the slider sat on the wrong side of the alternator. Hence why I had trouble with alternator belts early on. This one's been fine, but. Once I've fitted this correct part, it will make adjusting the alternator belt tension and the belt will run a lot truer. It will make it all better. That's one little job I can tick off the uh, to-do list while I wait for this oil leak. Um, I think waiting around in the garage with the camera trying to find it, I'm probably not going to find it. I think it, it needs to sit overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow and see where the leak is. It does, even when the engine's not been running, it does drip overnight. I've cleaned it up under the car before and you can see a leak, a bit of oil the next day. So I'm going to leave it now overnight and see where the leak is tomorrow which will be in the next video i'm going to put out a few videos over the festive period to try and help alleviate some people's boredom if they're not having a great time this christmas due to the uh, current climate so that'll do for this video a little job ticked off the list changing that alternator bolt and the front end removed and a bit of a look at how it's mounted and then we can wait for the oil leak next time Thanks very much for watching, drop us a comment below if you've got anything to say about how the front end is mounted. I know how I can improve it uh, by making these little brackets a bit better, but if you've got any other ideas let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.